Hello, this is Brother MFC 9930 printer and I'm going to empty the WT box. To do that, I'm going to open the top lid just like I did and then remove all the cartridges. We have four cartridges there, yellow, magenta, cyan and the black. So after removing the cartridges, the next thing you remove is the transfer belt. Just hold the green handle and then pull it up gently. You have to be very careful with this transfer belt. Any little dent on it can damage the transfer belt. Then after the transfer belt comes the WT box, which is what we are going to be dealing with today. So this is the WT box. You can empty it inside your house or office. It's better you take it outside because it can be messy. So I'm outside right now and then this is the WT box that I'm going to be working with today. This particular WT box, sometimes it shows an error on your printer, WT box full. I'm going to do another video later, I'll show you how to do that. You'll be needing a brush and then a screwdriver, a star screwdriver will do. We are going to use it to take out all the screws at the back of this particular WT box. So this is the flash screwdriver, the star screwdriver I'm going to be using rather. Now to be able to open it up, um, you have to turn the WC, uh, the WT box back so that you can get access to the screws and then with a screwdriver, take out all the screws. We have around um, seven to eight screws at the back which you need to take out before you will be able to get access to the inner part of the box where you can just empty the, the waste on it. So now, if your printer is giving in an error, WT box full, each time you power on your printer, just emptying the WT box will not resolve the issue. You still have to reset the WT box. To be able to do that, you if you look towards the handle at the top, at the top towards the, where the handle is, you will see a, two uh, metal contacts touching each other. You have to separate them. Now this is the inner part of the WC box. This is how it looks. I'm going to empty it gently. Then I'll use my brush to brush it out. You have to be careful with all the parts in the WT box so that some parts doesn't fall out. You have to be very, very careful when dealing with it because some parts can fall out and you might not know that something has fallen out and then when you put it back, it keeps giving you an error that you can't deal with. So now I've emptied it and I'm going to brush all the debris out to be sure that everything is neat and fine. Mine is not currently showing me WT box full error because um, the WT box is not actually full. But I just want to empty it because I felt um, that the WT is about to be full and then it's almost full and, and then some toner particles will likely start um, spilling on my printout so which is why i have to empty the wt box so now back to people that have issue of wt box full to be able to do that to be able to correct this issue you have to reset your wt box so you look towards the handle of your you look towards the handle of your wt box toward the top of it you will if you look closely you will see two metal contacts that that are touching each other so what you have to do is to separate these metal contacts from touching each other because actually when the two metal contacts touch each other it sends a message to the to the printer that the wt box is is full so you separate it and that will be able to resolve that issue if you still have any further questions on resolving the WT um, box full error and you don't want to get another WT box, you want to make use of the old one you're using, which is economical, uh, you can just hit me up in the comment section and then I will give you guides on how to be able to do that. And if you still can get it, I think later I'm going to make a video on that. Uh, remember to uh, subscribe and then like um, the, the, the channel 
so right about this time i'm true i'm going to brush it out again to be sure that everything is neat and clean so the wt bus is neat and clean i'm going to go back inside and replace it so to to be able to replace it you're just going to reverse the process i'm going to start with my wt box first and then the next thing is um, the transfer belt i'm going to clean it out a bit clean that clean out the debris on it don't use your hand on it your hand on it can actually put a stain on it so you either get a, a a soft tissue paper that won't scratch or dent the transfer belt in any way and clean it out just like i did gently and then replace it back the same way you you pulled it out and then the next thing is the cartridges you're going to replace the cartridges one by one you have to be very careful when replacing the cartridges watch out for the markings on 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 the printer we have each cartridge has its own slot the yellow has a slot the magenta the cyan the black all of them have their own slots so you have to check each slot on the printer and fix accordingly so now everything is fine i am going to power on the the printer you can see everything appears fine so um the, that is it um, i'm going to see you some other time um remember to like and subscribe and thank you for watching